Previously on The Potentialists. I'm wearing lipstick. Oh, okay. Zappy and Earn for the Wisdom wanted to give me hair. What the hell? I got in touch with my feminine side. Open your mouth. And she has this really sick smile on her face. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. I went to a University of Miami award ceremony. There's an award ceremony for the alumni and I get invited every year. For those of you that don't know what alumnus means, we graduated from the university. We are highly educated individuals. <laughs> I don't know why they like me. Did you get an award? Not yet. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Just to see. ceremony. This year, we got to meet The Rock. He's a wrestler, a producer, an actor. We are honored to present Dwayne Johnson with this year's Edward T. Foote Alumnus of Distinction Award. Dwayne I say I owe so much to the University of Miami. I had a chance to meet Danny. I wound up marrying Danny. I wound up getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> and we wound up becoming incredible business partners. She, she's my manager, and yeah, we make all that work. <laughs> yes, and it gets better, by the way, because through that, she goes and meets the, the man of her life, the love of her life in Dave, and then not only that, but then we become good friends and he becomes my trainer. <laughs> it's so cool how we make it all work. Danny, you are my family, and I love you guys, and I'm proudly, um, always, always, rocking the U worldwide, forever. forever. Thank you. I was so close to getting The Rock on camera. He gets off stage and that's where everything starts. Kind of a guessing game at first, little spy tactics. So I had to go around the building and I found a car that can pretty much only be The Rock. That's his car, he has to end up here. The kitchen is where I saw the cop was the dead giveaway. Cops aren't supposed to be in kitchens. Then movement happened and I'm like, oh, this is my time. So I slip in, excuse me, I just kind of got in and then I was outside where his car was. I was filming the whole thing and they go up to him. Excuse me. Excuse me. That pitch that you build up right before you meet him, it doesn't matter. It's all gone when you're there. Any trouble with one thing? Um, if you can, I just want to get a couple words that oh, we're doing I a... I can't sorry, brother. No, sorry, just because we're doing a tour for kids around the world and we just came back from Belize. No interviews, brother. I'm yeah. sorry. I think when I said say a few words is when I totally messed up. I'm done. Sorry. Okay. I'm done. Okay. I said no, so I'll get you back on. Thank you. I'm like, no! So close! I was this close to getting a quick interview with him, but he... he damn it. Who happens to track hurricanes from June through November. <laughs> so, if you want to join me, I'd love to invite you all to sing the alma mater with me. With all knowledge at your hand, wondrous joy. I work for CBS 4 News as a meteorologist. I've been doing that for five years here in my hometown in Miami. It's all about the year. Bathroom, and this lady stops me and she says, Oh my gosh, 
your shoes are so beautiful. <laughs> so we ended up having a really good conversation and talking about diving in Belize and just had a really nice time. Wayne Johnson was there. He was one of the award recipients. His ex-wife, Danny Garcia Johnson, was there and I got to meet her as well. And I wanted to get in touch with I was actually asking her if there's a way, because I know she's uh, heavy on the fundraising, if maybe she would like to get involved with our motivational missionaries tour. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Bert, and I want you guys to know that you can like, comment, subscribe, and make it happen. And guess what? <laughs> I'll see you on the other side.